Hi there, it's me, Delicia Inge, your Delaware and Maryland realtor. In this video, I wanna share my perspective of what it's like buying your first home, or any home for that matter, in this current real estate market. This market is unlike any that any of us have experienced. And I've talked to 30 year veterans in this profession and they have never seen anything like it. We are still in what's called a seller's market. So this means that the seller is basically getting above and beyond what they're asking for for their homes because there are so few homes on the market and an awful lot of pre-qualified buyers. There are simply not enough homes for the number of pre-approved buyers. So here's what's happening and some tips to get you into a home in 2021. So let's start with loan type. There are four types of loans. You have conventional, FHA, VA, and USDA. VA and USDA are zero down payment loans and FHA are typically three and a half percent down and conventional can be up to 20% down. I'll discuss these further in another video. But in this market, seller's preference is to work with buyers with conventional loans because there are fewer barriers to close and the assumption is that conventional buyers have more capital and more cash and simply can pay more. Sellers have two goals, to get as much as they can and to get to the table. Now you may be an FHA buyer with lots of cash for deposit and closing, but just simply couldn't qualify for the conventional loan based on your credit history or your debt to ratio income. And so we'll need to be able to show the seller that you have cash in your offer so they can feel confident that the deal will not get bombarded at the end. So this leads me to your ability to financially compete in this market. The offers that are being presented to sellers are outrageous. Buyers are willing to waive appraisals and inspections. They're paying thousands above asking price and thousands above appraisal price. They're also paying sellers closing costs and transfer tax, all types of creative ways to get their offer accepted. But most of these options are all out of pocket, meaning that your lender will not include these expenses in your loan. So that means it's important that before you enter the market, you understand your cash flow situation and how much out of pocket money you can afford to spend if you choose to. So another thing is that houses are selling very, very quickly. So when you see a house coming on the market, you need to be prepared to go in with an offer almost immediately after you see it. This means already having your pre-approval and your deposit money ready. Never before have houses been listed with an offer deadline three days after it hits the market. So this is happening to reduce the number of offers on that particular house, which can be up to 25 or even more in just those three days. So you must be ready to go in with your highest and best offer. I encourage all my clients to make an offer that they will not have any regrets if it doesn't get accepted because you know that you did your best and maybe that just wasn't the house for you. So keep in mind that you are competing against people who are desperate for a home. Maybe they sold their house and have nowhere else to go. They're coming in with fierce motivation. Some even have cash to pay for the house because they just got a big check from selling their house in three days. So <clears throat> I'm not saying this to discourage you, but only to prepare you for what's real in this market. I currently have three FHA buyers under contract and just closed on one. So there definitely is hope. But we had to come up with some very unique and creative ways to get their offers noticed and accepted. And more importantly, they were prepared. But if you're not able to handle this fast paced market and not willing to pay a bit more than you would in a normal market, or if you have flexible living arrangements and, not, and you aren't desperate for a place to live, maybe consider holding out a little longer. If you decide to wait, Continue to build your bank account and work on increasing your credit score. Even if your credit score is already high, it never hurts to increase it even more because it can help you to get an even lower interest rate or help you to qualify for a stronger loan, loan type. 
So if you have any questions or even comments about your experience in this market, please leave them in the comments or contact me directly. Happy house hunting and good luck to you.